Hello and welcome to Nerdy Unreal Dev. Now before we get into any uh, juicy Unreal Engine 5 content, let's start by just going over some of the UI stuff. Uh, since as you can see, got a scene that worked on previously, well, got started, um, go and, and you can see that it looks a lot like Unreal Engine 4. I think I rearranged a couple things. Uh, I do that. But there are a few differences. The main one being, rather than uh, representing various aspects, uh, various tools through words, they went for a more visual method, which can be a bit confusing when you're first opening up Unreal and trying to figure out where everything is. Uh, for stars, you have the place actors. Uh, this is showing recently place and then under here you have your basic stuff box triggers uh lights various lights shapes uh the cinematic so we only have the cinematic camera actor uh the other one got phased out now we've got some visual effects though that does not mean uh niagara this is like post-processing uh, you got your sky atmosphere, your volumetric cloud, etc. Uh, geometry, so this is separate from the basic shapes. Uh, for those who aren't too familiar with Unreal, the difference between a uh, basic shape and the geometry is the basic shape, this is what you get. But this, and we'll show, show a little bit earlier, I mean a little bit later, <laughs> you can manipulate as well as change um, the textures that are on it. Uh, I have a video showing this sort of thing in for Unreal Engine 4, and it's the same concept. Moving on, we've got volumes, audio, blocking, camera, all the volumes you probably need, and if you don't, if they don't have it, you can probably make it. Uh, you also have the water body exclusion volume because, as you can see, uh, water is fully included in Unreal Engine 5. And then just all classes search. Up here, this little confusing thing. This is select editing mode. Then we've got landscape editing mode. Selecting that was a mistake because now shaders are compiling. I had 6,000 shaders compiling before this video even started. But you've got your sculpt, your paint, uh, managing, so uh, I've got some water, the sand, using mega scans here, um, all of that, and then you, your paint, all of that under landscape. Then, this little thing that looks like a plant, that's your foliage, no longer uh, over here, it's up top. and. Did you, same sort of thing. <laughs> Select, drop whatever you're using for foliage here, uh, paint, single, all sorts of little options to help you with your foliage instancing. Mesh paint editing mode. This is, I forget, I think this was sort of included under Unreal Engine 4 maybe not something I really used if it was there, but this is going to be big for uh, Unreal Engine 5 uh, for various uh, level designing stuff. Things I need to practice with so I can show you guys. Uh, now we have Fracture Editing Mode, uh, which again, this is something that would need a whole video, uh, but this is chaos, okay? so. Uh, let's see if we can... Yeah, we got our Voronoi Fractures. Uh, it's not letting me fracture this, like I said. This is something that's going to need a whole new whole video. But it has its own tab, so you can easily go into that mode. Uh, so brush editing mode, that's what this thing is. Uh, so you can... So rather than it just being a cube, you can actually edit it, uh, you can extrude, 
you can do all sorts of fun stuff here and then at the end you can um, end up create make turning this into a static mesh rather than geometry though this is also useful because you are able to throw in textures on the individual things let's see if I can okay anyways I have a video on that and modeling editing mode unreal engine 5 is having more in engine modeling so the which is separate from this and again another feature that is going to need a whole new video just on that but those are the various modes and you can always go back to the select editing mode uh, for those of you wondering what's going on here I had an individual video but essentially you can scale uh, what you're looking at what the resolution and all of that so if you're like me and running a 1060 uh, you can have something a bit lower rather than killing your GPU um, and for anyone wondering where build is well you do have build all levels build lighting only all of that build your reflection captures but you'll notice you don't have to build lighting every single time you introduce an object in your scene that's one of the biggest things about unreal is they made it so that you don't have to constantly build the lighting everything calculates um, you also have um, the lighting is better in general uh, where it's not too obvious with these handful of objects but you actually have uh, the colors from the textures around you reflecting onto the objects which creates more natural shadows and etc so you have all that um, if you right click you still have all your usual stuff um, you, cascade is gone it's been phased out it's all Niagara now uh, water so they have water waves they might have a few more little fun features as Unreal Engine 5 develops uh, this is just to create waves uh, the water itself, all of that is under landscape and playing with splines. Um, your usual UI, etc. Um, all of that under here. Um, over in the corner, rather than, you know, going over to play, trying to remember where your project settings are. Settings, world settings, project settings plugins always important your engine scalability your volume all that in this corner right here now um for unreal engine 5 there still aren't any asset packs that are available for it um at least not last i checked but that's okay you can still grab content by uh going to quixel bridge which as long as you have an Epic Games account, all the stuff is free. And I have an update for the plugin. But you can grab various assets for your scene. And I will say the Mega Scans are working a lot better in Unreal Engine 5 than they were in Unreal Engine 4. Uh, this engine is handling them a lot better. But yeah, and you also have various blueprint options over here search your classes etc and have various tools and it once you need to build all the platforms package cook all that's right there the ui is fairly easy to use uh, makes a bit of sense once you recognize what's going on here so that's that i know i talked quickly but hopefully this quick little rundown of some of the UI changes is helpful. Have a good one. <laughs> also, quick addition, if you like this video and want to see more, please consider donating to my coffee or checking out one of the affiliate links below. 
uh, which will allow you to get something cool and also help support the channel. Alright, now have a good one. <laughs>